Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create an animated video with music and a 3D effect from Canva Mobile. And you can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account and a pro account. By the way, I love seeing you guys comment in the videos and I want to especially thank Solomon because I got the idea for this tutorial after reading his comment. I recommend you pay close attention to every detail and staying till the end of the video because I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you must follow to be able to create this animated video. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Munoz, I'm a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If this is the first time you visit this channel, I suggest you subscribe because we upload new tutorials every week that are going to help you a lot and remember to hit the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload a new tutorial now are you ready for this tutorial let's go to my phone okay now i'm here on my phone and as you can notice i'm not using the app i'm inside my browser so i'm using canva.com and this is the first trick you need to know in order to create these videos with music from our phones. If you are using the app, you won't be able to uh, use the music option. So this is the first trick, use the browser. Okay, now uh, I'm going to search here for video. I clicked on the search box. And now uh, instead of selecting one of these templates or clicking on blank, I'm going to go again to the search box and hit again again so i did it twice go i don't know what happens there but it allows me to use the design options inside the browser and not to be redirected to the app so now i'm going to use the blank option and as you can see i can work from the browser i have here my empty canva and I can access to the music option as you can see here. Okay, so before uh, going to the music and animations, let's create this design. Uh, if you didn't know, we recently hit 20,000 here on our channel, so I'm going to create an animation to celebrate that we are now 20,000 followers. So I'm selecting the background of this design and I'm going to use a dark or black background. So all the elements are kind of like popping out. You will see later. Okay, so now let's add some text. Uh, I'm going here to the text category. Let's open it. And if you didn't know, there are some new font combinations here. You can see they are really modern and aesthetic so i'm going to use one of these options let's select the one that says shine let's add it to my design and uh, before doing anything i'm going to ungroup these text boxes because there are three and i'm going to use just two so select uh, one of the text boxes and delete one okay next step I'm going to move these text boxes a little bit to the center and I'm going to change the color of them and the text. So uh, let's type we are and then 20k. Okay, next step is to change the color of this text and for this design I think on the top one I'm going to use purple and on the second one i will use green because um, i think these two colors are going to match the elements that i will use later you will see uh, yes and before going to the next step i want to show you something important here i'm going to select one of these text boxes and here next to edit you will see something that says color pro so this is the name of the font and this font in particular is a pro uh, font or a premium font. It has a crown, little crown next to it. So if you are using Canva for free, you can go down here and select one font that doesn't have or don't have a crown. So maybe you can use the uh, earlier round regular or I would suggest actually to go for Anton or Air Archivo Black. 
these two fonts are really cool but for this uh, exercise I think I'll go for color pro I have a canva pro account and why not use this beautiful and really cool fonts okay the next step is to go to elements and I'm going to search for gradient sticker I already had it I already had it here so select it and here we have the element that I want to use for this design. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to play with the dimension or the different layers that we have in this design. So I want to play with these round elements. You see the little ball that it is behind the text. I want this round element to go in between these two text boxes. So I'm going to select the we are and let's go here search for position and move it backward okay so like this we have already some dimension in the design and i'm going to duplicate this element i'm going to flip it horizontally and now let's move it like this and position backward so what I'm doing here is that I'm creating some dimension because I'm putting some elements behind others and like that we kind of like have this 3D effect in the design. And by the way, I was thinking that maybe for a next video, I can teach you guys how to create explainer videos. Uh, these kind of videos with text, animations and music in which you can explain different steps or explain a process. You can upload these videos to social medias like Facebook, Instagram or even YouTube. So let me guys uh, know in the comments if you are interested so I can create this tutorial for you guys. And now let's add some animation, some movement to this design and also some music. Let's click on the background of this design and here we'll see this button that says animate. I'm going to click here and I think I'm going to use this tumble animation. I really like it because you can see all the elements flying around and this one is actually a free animation so any of you can use this one. Okay, the next step is to add music. Let's open here the menu and let's go to music. You can go here to the search box and open the settings. If you have a Canva free account, you can select here the free uh, options and filter them just by the free uh, songs available in Canva. In my case, I think I'll go for this song called Trust Me that I used recently. And now let's click here on the export button, download, MP4 and download. And if you are going to use this animation or this video on your YouTube account, just make sure that you are connecting here properly your YouTube account. If not, it will be possible that you receive a copyright strike so yeah this step is really important before downloading and here we have the video so let's uh, play what do you guys think i really like the effect of these elements flying around the text effect the font that i actually selected what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you liked this video and remember that if you have any tutorial suggestions, I'm always hanging out in the comment section of this video. So I guess see you there. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot. And if you want to support us so that we can create more videos, more tutorials for you, subscribe by clicking on this button. That's that's all for now. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!